let's get started with this makeup tutorial and before we go any further I just would like to add that I do have a little bit of eye makeup on so I went in with this uh, pore filling primer from NYX I applied circular motions before going in with my what is this foundation of my choice I went in with a light layer before we go on bead face with the face paint so that's what I'm doing here right now Although we're going to be using some face paint, I feel like the natural color, the complexion from beneath the face paint will still show through. So I wanted to create a very clean canvas, so I just went in with a light touch of concealer. To make the hollows of the eye socket, I'm going to be using a white NYX jumbo pencil. I believe this is in the shade Milk and I took a lid off a eye cream cover or a night face cream and I'm lightly outlining the shape because I chose white in case I make any mistakes and if I want to make any changes to the shape. White is way much more easier. As you can see, I'm just cleaning up where I want to re-emphasize or create a new shape. This is just a guide to just like roughly outline the eye sockets. To get a straight line on my forehead, I will use the um, back of a brush and went in with a light line. As you can see, mistakes do happen and that is why I feel like white is such a great colour to erase and redo again. And here I'm creating the shape of a web. Ideally, we're looking for a half a web on my forehead so I'm drawing some diagonal lines and I will go in with some wavy lines uh, on the tops of the web. Now along the corners of our mouth, I just drew straight lines and fading them lightly outwards. And this is so because I want to create like a look of a skinless mouth where you can see the jagged ends of the teeth. Yay! Now for the fun part, I'm going to be using the Snazero Water Activated Paint and I'm going to be using a brush that has a slight tip to it because I do want the lines to be as sharp and thin as possible but as you can see, I'm not a great pro at this. This is my first time attempting or the second time attempting this but this time on camera. shape this is already down right now but I'm going to be going in with a more tinier pointy brush and I'm going to be taking the same white face paint and I'm going to be placing little dots along the outer parameters of my eye socket halfway somewhere around doing this part I felt like I was like a Bengali bride where you know they have that intricate eye uh, beautiful pattern that they have on the day of their wedding and then I realized no I am doing a Halloween tutorial I don't know how I got carried away 
you gotta be really careful this is the tiniest pointy brush that i could find uh i didn't want to use my existing makeup brushes with my face paint because i don't know if they can be cleansed off completely or they're going to be messing up my brushes so these are all uh craft brushes that i got from art friend snazro face paint that i'm using in this tutorial is also from art friend went to the one that is in dobe got to emphasize the lines, I went in with the contouring shade from the Australia's Contour and Highlighting Kit and I went to deepen up my lower lash line to make them look more hollow and deadly. I used the same contouring shade to deepen up and give it a bit more definition on the areas where I placed the white face paint and it starts looking more sharper right now so I just go in and keep deepening up on the areas where I want to create a little depth. I took the same brown shade and went around the parameters of my um, white part of the nose that I have in right here and it starts looking much sharper but I, unfortunately this brown shade was a lot more cooler than my liking. life i still want to look glam so i did use a pair of falsies for this look uh, it is totally optional if you don't want to you can skip this step finally a brown shade that stood out to me was the uh, the dark brown shade from the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette and i believe the shade is called cypress umber which is perfect with this look. Cypress Umber is what I have on my eyelids but after some time it starts wearing off and it became like a very light shade of brown but now as I'm applying a fresh coat of it I'm defining the uh, inner sockets of my eye, eye sockets of my eye and just gently pushing the color onto my um, outer thirds of my under eye area. The last part of this Halloween tutorial is to finish up the lips. I'm going to be using the same white face paint to mimic the look of jacket teeth on my upper and lower lips. I'm not going to be using the face paint to cover up my lips because I'm not too sure if it's uh, safe enough to ingest the white paint should I get dusty. So I waited till the last part. I went back with the same white face paint and redefined the color a little bit. I tried to not edit out a lot of the portion of this video because I do want you to see that it can be a little bit time consuming but it's a whole lot of fun. I completely forgot that it was when I went in to fill my in with the NYX uh, eye base in white and this is if you have any color or transparent loose face powder you can totally matte down the lips with it but this is what I have on my lips. I did want to add a little sparkle. I went in with the glitter primer and dabbed a little bit onto my inner corners of my tear duct and on top of that I went in with this H&M glitter dust. I believe it's called Catherine Pinwheel. It's so beautiful. If you have been following me on my Instagram stories, you will probably saw the swatch and dye it. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful color. So this is what I have on my inner tear duct. With the final step, this look is now complete. I hope you enjoy watching this first Halloween tutorial for this year. And if you do happen to recreate this look, don't forget to tag me on my social media platforms. I would love to see your recreations.